Welcome to the ESPN of science fiction, the ESPN of sci-fi, your entertainment science fiction programming network, your entertainment sci-fi programming network. Bonjour, buenos dias, zao an, ohayou gozaimasu, zao shang hao. Welcome. And we're talking about the multiverse. First, I'm going to encapsulate, give you the answer up front. I give you the answer, don't abandon. Don't say, oh, now I know, and leave. No, stay. You're on Apple Podcasts, stay. You're on Spotify, stay. You're watching YouTube, keep watching because we're going to expand on that answer. Give you an answer up front, the multi-universe, and then we're going to broaden out. If we say the multiverse, it's the same as saying the universe. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Did you subscribe yet? Subscribe. Subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. No matter where you are, subscribe. YouTube, subscribe. Put your comments down. Spotify, Apple Podcast. Put your comments down. Subscribe. Facebook, follow, like. Like everywhere. Like on, on uh, YouTube as well. Here's what I mean. Multiverse, same as universe. Where does the universe end? I'm going to get clearer. If it doesn't end, if our universe never ends, then multiple universes are part of the universe. So in multiverse, you have a universe doesn't end, another universe doesn't end, another universe doesn't end, if the universe doesn't end, and then it's all the universe. See, our mind is always focused on ending because we're, we're used to that, right? We, we grow up, you know, you're going to end someday. Everything has to end. You know, that's what we say. Everything has to end. But think sci-fi where things never end. Then the universe never ends. Let's say the universe runs into another universe that never ends, runs into another universe that never ends. Why aren't we saying the same thing? The universe. So the multiverse, the universe. So let's start out with the basics. Here's the basics. We are in our solar system. Everything in our solar system is bound to our star, which is our sun. Our sun is our star in our solar system. And we're bound to our sun by gravitational pull. Everything bound to our sun through gravitational pull is part of our solar system. We're talking about Mercury. We're talking about Venus. We're talking about Mars. We're talking Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, Neptune, Pluto, Earth, lots of other moons millions of asteroids, millions of comets, millions of meteoroids. And our planetary system is in the outer part of our galaxy. So our planetary system, our solar system, sits in the outer part of our galaxy. And our galaxy is called the Milky Way galaxy. Within our galaxy, there are thousands, if not tens of thousands of planetary systems similar to our solar system. And those planetary systems that have stars and they have planets that orbit their stars, stars similar to our sun. And that's all part of our Milky Way galaxy. So those planetary systems are composed of tens of thousands of asteroids. Each planetary system, tens of thousands of asteroids, comets, moons, meteoroids. It's getting huge, huger and huger. And we're going to get to the hugest. So stay with us. Don't go. We're getting hugest. Make sure you subscribe. Subscribe. 
we're talking about one galaxy and we're not talking about the universe, right? When we're talking about these tens of thousands, millions, still it's just one galaxy that we're referring to, the Milky Way galaxy. And our solar system sits on the outer part of the Milky Way galaxy. So when we're talking multiverse and universe, it's the same. Let's, let's build more. Here, here, let's, let's come back to our solar system. Just to show you how vast this is. The sun is 93 million miles from, from the Earth. This is just our solar system, not even our galaxy now, just on the outer part of the galaxy. The sun, which has a gravitational pull on our Earth, is 93 million miles from the Earth. Yet, in the Milky Way galaxy, there are other suns that have similar pools on other planets, and you're, you're, you're passing, you're going past the millions of miles. So you get how outstandingly vast this is. And maybe we could, uh, other planets in our solar system, maybe we could add more planets to our solar system, such as Cirrus. Let's add Cirrus to our solar system as a planet. Let's add Charon as another planet. Yes, let's add UB313, another planet we could add to our solar system. So another planetary system, which is the closest planetary system to our system is called Proxima Centauri system. So we are the solar system, then there's a Proxima Centauri system. Now, if you speak Spanish, you know Proxima means near or close. So the closest system to our system is Proxima Centauri. The planetary system near the solar system, Proxima Centauri. The Milky Way galaxy is not the universe. There's millions and millions of planets within it, millions of miles stretch out. Let's talk about how stretched out the Milky Way galaxy is. The Milky Way galaxy, it will take 100,000 to 200,000 light years to cross the Milky Way galaxy. 100,000 to 200,000, we did not say years, we said light years to cross the Milky Way galaxy. Now, for all you Buzz Lightyear fans out there, one light year is the distance that light travels in one Earth year. In one Earth year. Stay tuned to this podcast because we have another podcast coming and we'll talk about Earth years versus other planets and times on other planet. If it's three o'clock here on Earth, what time is it on Uranus? We'll talk about that in another podcast. In one Earth year, light will travel, continuing with this podcast here, in one Earth year, light will travel six trillion miles. In one Earth year, light travels six trillion miles. And think, we said it takes 100,000 to 200,000 light years to travel the Milky Way galaxy across the Milky Way galaxy. Six trillion miles for kilometers is nine trillion kilometers. We're ready? The quintessential question you want to ask is, how fast does light travel? Light travels 186,000 miles per second. For those who do kilometers, 
300,000 kilometers per second. 186,000 miles per second in one Earth year, light will travel 6 trillion miles. Let's do that again. At 186,000 miles per second in one Earth year, it will take light 100,000 to 200,000 light years to travel the Milky Way galaxy. And the Milky Way galaxy is not the universe, right? So and when we're thinking Milky Way galaxy, and then there's other universes, Milky Way galaxy is not the universe. I'm going to give a plug into the Aqua 5 from here because did you subscribe, 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 everywhere subscribe. But here's a plug in for the, the Aquafy. Go on aquafy.com, purchase the novel, the Aquafy that I wrote, and I'll give the plug in this way. When in the first podcast, if you didn't see it, go back and, and see it and, or listen to it. I spoke about making underwater science fiction as vast as outer space. So now we're, we're starting to grasp how vast outer space is and why there's so much sci-fi in a big place. The place is big, it's huge, you can do whatever you want. So when you have a confined space, water, the ocean seas in a confined planet, and you can make it as vast, as open. So when you're reading the Aquafy, you're not reading about a claustrophobic 10,000 leagues under the sea. In, in, in one space, in a submarine, you, you're going vast into multiple dimensions underwater. And so that's why, go to the aquafy.com, get your The Aquafy and read it. It's as vast as out of space. So, we're talking about the speed of light. The speed of light, uh, and here we're just not talking about just visible light. Light is not the only thing that travels at the speed of light. Gravitational waves travel at the speed of light. Electromagnetic radiation travels at the speed of light. We said that the Milky Way galaxy is not the only galaxy in our universe. There are two trillion galaxies, two trillion galaxies similar to the Milky Way galaxy in the universe that we can observe. And we got to say, in the universe that we can observe, there are two trillion galaxies that take 200,000 light years to cross at 186,000 miles per second. Let's grab this. In what we can observe. And why do we say in what we can observe? Because... best instruments we have. We're using the best instruments we have. And so far, what, from what we can observe, there are two trillion galaxies similar to our Milky Way galaxy in our universe. So it doesn't stop at two trillion galaxies. And so now there's another galaxy and that stopped at two trillion. There's another. And so there's multiple universe. No. Once we get other instrument that we can observe more, we'll see that there are four trillion galaxies in our observable universe. And then once we get other instruments where we can observe beyond that, we'll see that there are eight trillion galaxies. Here's why. The universe travels faster than the speed of light. The universe is constantly expanding. The universe expands faster than the speed of light. So 
the universe, not another universe or multiverse, just the universe. So all we're saying is the same thing. If the universe is expanding and so far we can see two trillion, then we build stronger instruments and we see four and then we'll see eight, then we'll never stop seeing because the universe is constantly expanding faster than the speed of light. So the multiverse is the universe. Okay? Okay, I got it. I got it. I got it. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, I got it. I got it. I got it. Okay, okay, okay. I got it. I got it. I just thought I threw that in there. You guys like me um, singing last time. No, but comment. Say you love my singing. Oh, I have uh, other videos out where doing the promotion for the podcast, doing promotion for the audio book and the animated trailer, and then I'm singing. So watch those uh, other videos that are on YouTube and like them and comment, say how much you like my singing. Oh no, yeah, and you like my singing, so it's comments. Oh, we love your singing. Comments, send me a message on Facebook. We love you, you need to sing more on your podcast. So comment, like, subscribe, follow on Facebook. We have not seen, as we mentioned, the unobservable part of the universe because we don't have instruments to do that. So we'll have to get stronger instruments. And then we'll see that the universe, let's say we get strong enough instruments, we say that's the universe. But then at the speed of light, faster than the speed of light, it's expanding. So the multiverse, multidimensional universe, is the universe. It's all the same thing. Okay, I get it. I get it. It's all the same thing. We said we're going to talk about time. And here it's 3 o'clock. Not really. I mean, it's 3 o'clock somewhere. And so when we talk about time on Earth, we've got to look at so many different times here, Eastern time, Standard time, Pacific time, just in one country, and then time in other countries. And, and what time is it? And this is just in our galaxy. What time is it on Pluto? We'll talk about that on the next podcast.